in class you talked about escapes for arm locks and it applies here as well. Uh, so you were teaching arm lock escapes and I think uh, uh, choke escapes. And, and the question came up of when should an athlete not tap and risk their arm being broken? And you quoted George Patton as of course you would, uh, that no bastard ever won a war by dying for his country. He won it by making some other bastard die for his country. So what's your view on when to tap and when not, not to tap in competition? First off, in, in training, you should be tapping very early because um, uh, you're not getting paid to fight in the gym. You're getting paid to fight on stage. So be a professional in the gym, tap early, tap fast. That way you'll, you'll last a lot longer. In competition, things are a little different. We also have to specify what is the situation. Okay, if you're in the first round of ADCC, your first match, you get caught, I would always expect my students to tap. Because if you get your leg broken or your arm broken in the first round, you still got three more matches before you get to the final. There is a escape clause there, is if you're a guy from Ireland and you're fighting the number one seed. <laughs> there is there's always an escape clause, yeah. Um, like, let it snap. Yeah, yeah let it go. But um, uh, Your students, yes. Yeah, I, I, I would expect them to tap. Um, I also think that if you're in a stranglehold, it doesn't make a lot of sense and not tapping because you, you're going to pass out. I, I, it's like you said in, in chess, it's kind of impolite to make the guy take it through to its conclusion. So um, I don't see any heroism and and just letting yourself pass out. Um, now, things change when you get into a final. If you're in a final and you're ahead on points and you're willing to... Most people at that point are going to be willing to let something break in order to win a gold medal. At that point, I leave it up to the student. Uh, it's a deeply personal decision. I would never say to a student, I expect you to let your body break in order to, to win a gold medal. Um, I think my students are more than mature enough to make up their own minds. Uh, I would be angry if they let their bodies break in a meaningless fashion in some random tournament. Uh, or in a first round match where there's no way you could have go on to, to the second, third, and fourth matches with a, with a broken limb. Um, but in a final, in a gold medal match in ADCC, I would leave the decision to them, a spontaneous decision in the moment. I would be confident that I had prepared them to do their very best to defend themselves. Um, but what ultimately they do is their decision. And winning ADCC is for a grappler at least, life-changing. You're a world champion forever, and no one can ever take that moment away from you. So I would I would understand if they took a decision to take damage. Hopefully it will never come to that because I do a good job of preparing people to get out of situations as you saw with Gary Turner, who was in a dreadful <laughs> situation and got out within five seconds. I saw, man. Um, <laughs> uh, Gary's been in arm locks that looked like even I was in the corner going like, oh my God, what is happening here? And still got out. So uh, it comes down to training preparation. But if they did make that decision, I would understand, provided it was a situation that would make their lives better. And they made a calculation. It's not an emotional thing. Now, sometimes you get emotional. You fight a guy you just don't like and you just don't want to tap to him. Um, then things get a little more interesting. Like then, again, it's a personal decision. If you hate someone so much that you literally can't even conceive of yourself submitting to them, probably best you don't get into matches with them in the first place. Um, but if it should happen, um, again, it comes down to the student. I, I teach technique, not morals. So I, I let people make their own decisions on that. My thing is, look, don't get injured, because if you're injured, you can't train. You can't train, you can't get better. So stay away from injury as much as you can.